what is up maple royals um today i'm just going to be talking a little bit about how i you know i i recently came back maybe like two weeks ago right and just want to talk about like how i've been able to make my mesos um coming back with like maybe um 50 mil 100 mil to my name so um i'll just go off right the right off the bat and say right now is uh the valentine's event so i will say definitely 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 apq um, amoria party quest as much as you can you just need a level 40 character and um they just need to be married so it's really easy um to do honestly and so like right now i can show you um sorry so i can show you i've been able to get around um 200 put it in my safe 200 apples and that's across five characters it's been maybe 10 days at this point of the event um i'll say i probably spent maybe 120 150 apples um you know just paying for stuff like smegas um buying i bought this uh, king scent half of it was with apples um so you know theoretically right if you have five characters you know maybe that's it's a little too much going on maybe let's let's just say three characters right if you have three characters that can apq every day um you're looking at about you know on average let's just say right now 10 is the average but i think it's a little bit higher so let's just say on average 10 that's 30 apples a day that's uh, around 240 mil right now but um, you're trying to hold them for when apples go back up in price um, which should be in about two or three months from now so that's the main plan is holding them as much as you can and then you can probably sell a stack for like um, a bill or something so that's the main goal with the apples right right now I'm APQing every day on five characters or at least I try to so that's on average 50 apples and that means I can get a stack in two days right so theoretically I can make a bill in two days um, which you know would take some holding yes but it, it's just an idea I think APQ is really good right now and that's why a lot of people aren't really selling leech right now and it's just super profitable right it's way smarter especially if you're someone who bosses a lot and spends a lot on apples anyways it's really good um that's the main way um second um way that i'm really trying to make mesos right now is doing crimson wood party quests so i wasn't really able to do crimson wood that much because i was a paladin and paladin's not good um in crimson wood keep party quests but um i have this si now and um been working on my buck a little bit and i've been learning how to play it and you know definitely have been enjoying cwk and i can already see how it's pretty profitable um i'm not reloading mons i just want mesos right now um don't really care about like having crazy good gear at the po at the moment but um yeah so looking ahead so i actually quit selling cpq leech i have sold most of my stuff i only have a few equips left on my cpq leech account so what's next um right now i think after the event's over because i don't see myself doing apq five times a day when the event's over um i definitely think i will most likely be um trying to level up my mage that is one of the only characters i don't have yet um so i don't have a uh a bishop yet and i want a bishop so i could either start selling um regular leech like skellies um but what i do want to try is trying to sell uh, goby leech i've noticed this problem right now with with cpq leech there's not much flex flexibility in a sense so there's no um flexibility it's really straightforward you can level someone from 30 to 50 and that's it but you know um, I've been thinking about doing, you know, when I started making this, um, bandit, um, soon to be shadower, um, I noticed that I really, really, really think 
I need a bishop to leech myself because I've never really experienced hard washing a character before and that's what I'm doing with this character and also made me think oh I need to fund that character as well so I'm thinking about doing Gobi leech I don't know I'm gonna learn more about it I've been talking to some people trying to figure out and understand it and um, definitely on my radar for sure uh, I think that's the next thing I want to talk about is Gobi Leech. Um, it is really, really broken. It is even faster than um, leveling a level 30 in CPQ Leech. You could probably get someone from 30 to 40 in like uh, maybe 30 minutes or 45 minutes or something. Like it's really ridiculous how fast Gobi Leech is from what I hear So and what I've seen. So... I've thought about it and I was like, dude, I think I want to try it. Um, I will say though, it's probably going to be a really big investment from my side. Um, so the plan right now um, with me is obviously I'm going to try to do some bosses on my buck, but mainly I'm just trying to do these APQs, grind out the APQs um, once the event's over. Uh, we can go from there. And yeah, I'm back to Royal. So, you know, welcome to the journey. We're back on the grind. The, the next mission is definitely getting this bishop that I have, which is level like 50 right now, up to a uh, fourth job so that, you know, we can start selling leech and, you know, make more videos on it. I uh, feel like there's not many educational um, outlets other than forums, and even then I feel like there's a lot of people that want to withhold information, so, um, yeah. Thank you for watching, and make sure to keep um subscribed that would be great leave a like or comment um definitely enjoy the support it feels great to be back to uh royals i'm not gonna lie and hopefully we can stay now now that we're sort of having this drive to actually make mesos and not just blow it all scrolling <laughs> um but yeah uh see y'all later like comment subscribe whatever peace